Hi, I'm Fatima. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, but I'm actually attending NYU. Um, I'm studying pre-med and political science at New York University. I've actually never had a boyfriend. Um, I come from a very strict family. My mother is Muslim, so dating was out of the question. It was school, school, school. So never had a boyfriend, ever. My favorite food is anjera. It's actually pronounced anjera. It's an um, Ethiopian dish, and my father is Ethiopian, so I love it, and my mom makes the best anjera ever. I know that I have what it takes to, to be America's Next Top Model because I'm driven, I'm determined, I'm very confident. I've had a lot of experiences in my life, bad ones and good ones, and I feel like I'm really good with like dealing with people, dealing under pressure. I'm very competitive, and I'm beautiful. And not only on the outside, but on the inside. I've been through so many obstacles growing up, going through female genital mutilations when I was young, like having our entire house burned down like by militiamen in Somalia and coming here and starting from scratch going to like one of the top schools in, in the country I feel like if you put me in any situation I can excel in it I would say that my role model is Iman I've always looked up to her I feel like she's a very strong woman and uh, like she opened a door for me because Modeling is almost equivalent to pornography in my country and for her to like step out from that and do what she likes to do made me really look to her and, and make me believe that I could actually do it myself too. And I really see her as a role model even though everyone in Somalia thinks that she's you know, a whore who's selling her body. She gives so much back to like children's orphans who have nothing in Somalia and I would like to like really get into the, it, to this industry, become a model and give a lot and raise awareness about female gender mutilations and talk openly about it and you know tell women that they don't have to be you know prison in their own bodies and no one has to tell them what should be done to them I'm not concerned about them because truly I, I, I don't feel like they're like a competition I don't have competition in the house I feel like they're mostly intimidated by me you know like I come and like the, the moment I walk in you know, they're all like, oh, like, she thinks she's like this Egyptian princess. And I'm like, well, if you think that I'm Egyptian princess, like, then like, it's like for you to like sit there and talk about me, then you must really think that I am. So it's like, I'm not really worried about them. I'm worried about, you know, what the judges are going to say, what Tyra is going to say, and how I'm going to deliver my pictures. These girls are no competition. They're not as exotic and as beautiful and never been through the same things that I've been through. And I'm a true model from the heart so I have like these girls like they might think that they're my competition but they really have no idea what they're going against